Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today's video is on how to downgrade any version of iTunes on a Windows um, computer running either Windows 7 or Windows Vista. The uh, procedure for Windows XP will be similar, but will be a little different. So if you need help with that, I will um, go ahead and just PM me and I will do my best to help you. So um, in order for this to work, you are going to need two things. You're going to need the version of iTunes you are download downgrading to and a third party uninstaller. For this video, I will be using a pro program called Your Uninstaller. Um, it's a 21 day free trial, full, fu fully functional. So uh, go check them out because they're really cool and they work really well. So uh, let's get started right away. Let me go ahead and minimize my Cam Studio um, dialog box. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and I'll just show you the website that I'm gonna be downloading the program fund. We're gonna go ahead and just type in old apps iTunes into Google and then you'll see the first result says oldapps.com slash iTunes. Go ahead and click that. And right now I'm running iTunes 10.4. However, um, if you are running let's say iTunes version 10.5 on a beta and you know it's buggy and it's not doing what you need, go ahead and you can just go ahead and downgrade this way and you'll have the same exact success and the exact same results. So uh, for the sake of the video, I will go ahead and I will downgrade to 10.3.1. Uh, so just go ahead and select the uh, version you want. Now we're going to go ahead. Oops, I went a little too far. And we're going to go ahead and just click this one right here, iTunes 10.3.1. Now if you are running 64-bit, make sure you select 64-bit. If you're not running 64-bit, uh, just go ahead and ignore that. And you will know very simply if you go to your computer, go to your property, and you will see right here, system type 64-bit operating system so we're gonna go ahead just click it and it should automatically start downloading if it doesn't you can go ahead and just click that because I'm using Google Chrome we're gonna have to say save and as you can see the download speed is very fast so uh, while this is downloading we're gonna go ahead and open up your uninstaller and this is a very important part of the video because this is oh it's already running um, this is very important because this is going to clean out your system so uh, once it's open, you're going to go ahead and hit go to tools and go to options and go down to where you see backup system state before uninstall. Go ahead and hit go ahead and hit OK. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this one, this application, this application right here, and then finally iTunes. Uh, this one right here is relatively simple. Go down here to see where you see quick, quick, quick uninstall. Go ahead and click that. It's going to uninstall it. It's going to bring you through the steps. Now, what that we did before when we went to Tools, Options, Don't Backup System, uh, what this program will do is it will go ahead and back up it, your uh, system restore point each time it uninstalls a program. And because the programs will be uninstalling are so small, there's not, you don't really need to make a backup. Now, if you were to go ahead and uninstall a major driver, I'd say go ahead and do that. But because we're just uninstalling a small program, there's really no need to do that. So um, you should get a message that says Apple mobile device and iTunes is running, or iTunes helper is running. Just go ahead and hit do not close applications. Hit OK. It's going to bring you ahead and go and uninstall the files. All right, so it's now finishing. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you right now that this is what I'm running right here. I am running um, version 10.4.0.80. And then obviously this is the one we just downloaded 10.3.1. So I just thought I'd just show you that so you could believe um, that I wasn't just screwing around with you guys. So now it says finished. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and uninstall this uh, Apple mobile device support. And this is device support for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch along with the iPods. Go ahead and hit quick uninstall. And again, it's going to bring you through the process of uninstalling. I'm going to go ahead and just pause the video here and I'll come back when it's done. 
All right, so as you see, it's done uninstalling that. The next thing we're gonna go do is uninstall Bonjour. Let's go ahead and get a quick uninstall. Go ahead and just, I'm gonna pause it one last time. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit finish. And at this point, you don't have to touch the Apple software updates. I am running, uh, as you can see, boot camp. So this is on my MacBook. But um, even if you were just running on a regular Windows computer, you don't have to go ahead and uninstall that because that won't affect the iTunes version at all. And then uh, finally, the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead, just select iTunes, go down and um, instead of going down to quick install, you're gonna right click iTunes, you're gonna go to uninstall, and now you're gonna go down to super mode so it can really clean out all the registry files without leaving anything behind. And this is the reason why I recommended a um, third-party uninstaller such as your uninstaller because um, typically the uninstaller on the computer won't do as such won't do a well it won't do as good a job as a third-party uninstaller when it comes to removing all the files and that's when you get those uh, nasty little errors that you know iTunes can't be installed and whatnot okay so it's a computing space validating I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video because sometimes this takes 10 tends to take longer all right, so as you see, it says iTunes has been um, removed. Go ahead and restart your computer. So I'm going to actually hit the uh, end button on my recording. I'm going to go ahead, save this, and I will come back and start a new recording when this is done. All right, guys. So as you can see, the computer has rebooted, and I no longer have iTunes installed. So what we're going to go ahead and do is now just go ahead and where you downloaded the original um, iTunes, so where you have um, the one that you downloaded from oldapps.com, just go ahead, we're going to run that now. Make sure you run that as an administrator or you'll be prompted a couple times throughout the procedure to uh, run, to uh, give it permission. So go ahead and just run as administrator, this will make your life a lot easier in the uh, long run. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And as you can see, the version right there down is 10.3.155 uh, times 64 bit. So it's a 64 bit version. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Uh, once again, we're going to hit next. And then finally, we're going to hit next one last time or install. And it's going to uh, run through everything it needs to do. And I'm going to come back when it is done so you don't have to watch my computer install um, iTunes. Alright guys, so after um, it is done installing, you're going to want to go ahead and just hit finish. And you should get an error that says the file iTunes library.itl cannot be read because it was created by a new version of iTunes. Now this is typically where everyone's kind of like, oh no, what do I do? So you're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now just go over to your, uh, your music uh, folder. Go over to iTunes. And now where you see these four things right here. Uh, these four right here. iTunes Music Library, iTunes Library, iTunes Library Genius, and iTunes Extra. You're just going to shift, hold, and you're going to select these four things. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead and make sure you don't, you drag them to your actual, drag them to your desktop. I'm sorry about that, guys. And now you're going to go ahead and you are going to double click iTunes, let it open. And as you see, we now have iTunes open. And as you see, it's running iTunes 10.3.1.55. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe you'll have the ability to um, try this. Go ahead and just throw this into a folder. Sorry, guys. And now you can go ahead and open up iTunes. And you won't have any of those extra files just chilling. But it has to be on your desktop. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. But for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace. And I hope this helped.